Hello and welcome to Versus Live. I'm Ross Miriam. And I'm Corey Ballmeister. And we've got a Rob in the booth. Say hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Rob will be taking all of your questions, comments, concerns, and burns in the chat. Make sure to tag at Star City Games so he can see them and send his favorites over to us. We, you know, we did a lot of modern last week. Yep. But we liked it so much. So we much. have to do it again. So much. I mean, modern is just, it, it's always good. We always have decks we can play. You know, there's still probably 10 more decks we could scrounge together to just play all of them uh, before we get a new set. Uh, that's what I love about modern. Yeah. So we got some really sweet ones for you today. I'm going to be starting out with Naya Titan. Mm. Now, that name is a slight misnomer, I would say. <laughs> it is essentially a Celestia deck. We've got some boils in the sideboards. So. You got red cards. That counts. Yeah, tiny red splash. You, know, you got Valakia. You got Mal Mountains somehow with Dryad of the Leasing Grove. Sure, so. sure. But, but, you know, essentially a Selesnia deck. Uh, you know, this is sort of a fair Titan deck, and it's using Eladomri's Call to have this toolbox of creatures to fight fair, and okay. then Primeval Titan is what's going over the top. We're not cool. going to be as fast as an Amulet deck, uh, but you're very resilient. You know, you don't have that sort of awkward mana base, all these weird lands that are only really relevant with Titan. Okay. Um, but you do still have the Field of the Dead endgame, and you have the Valakit plan when you have Dryad out. Cool. Absolutely. So I'm going to be playing a Nea Kiki Chord list uh, with, of course, Yorian. I mean, yeah. You, one does not just play a deck without Yorian these days, right? Like, I, I just don't get it. Well, you you especially, tried, Corey. Yeah. I, especially a deck that's built around creatures with enters the battlefield ability. Yes, right? that, you know, that's really hard to very resist. Very natural home for Yorian. Yeah. <laughs> really hard to resist. So I am also going to be calling for a bunch of random creatures as well, but trying to be a little bit faster than you um, and just combo off and with Kiki and Restoration yeah. Angel. And, and yeah. the, the combo aspect of the deck is definitely the thing I'm most scared about. Definitely. You know, as a more fair Titan build, this deck does main deck path to exile, so mm. I do have interaction with the combo, which is nice, but not a ton. Yeah. You know, uh, it'll also be really good if I can ever get to the point where I have Valakut on and Dryad on the battlefield. You can mm. hold up fetch lands and essentially use those as lightning bolts. Yeah, that'll break the combo as yep. well. Mm -hmm. uh, so that we got a couple different ways to answer it, at least in the main deck, but definitely a very scary aspect of that deck. Normally, if you're just playing a bunch of creatures, Primeval Titan is going to go over the top of you. For sure. Especially for if they're sure. value creatures and not particularly aggressive. Yeah. But the combo yep. element is definitely, definitely scary. Yeah. Exactly. But just nickel and diming you with card advantage from like Wall of Blossoms, you know, bolts, stuff like that is not going to be insane, but, uh, you know, they do facilitate you to find the cards that will be insane. So, okay. shall we? Let's do it. I see some marbles on my Dang side. it. Pioneer went your way. That is right. That, that was a good show, though. That was, it was. a good show. If you missed that one. That is currently on the YouTube channel. The YouTube. Yes. yes. The only YouTube channel that exists. <laughs> games. No, nobody else is allowed to have one. No, no, no. No, it's the Wait, best an one. Exclusive so. contract with YouTube. I like it. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna be going first. Uh, this sounds fine. Nothing insanely powerful, but definitely going to keep. Um. Yeah, I'll keep. Okay. Uh, we'll start with this. You will Utopia Sprawl. Um, let's name Red. Okay. Uh, well, I will play an Elvish Reclaimer. Okay. And pass the turn. Okay. A draw. Um, let's go like this. I'm going to float a red wall of blossoms. Yep. And bolt that. Oh, that's not good. Pass to you. My hand was really bad, and then I drew a Reclaimer, and Reclaimer <laughs> made it really good. But then you bolt my Reclaimer, and now it's back to being bad again. But your Reclaimer's over there. It's not going to help you too much. Don't worry. My hand is uh, not exactly great. I will play Flagstones of Trocare. Okay. Pass the turn. All right. Not a horrible draw. All right, let's start with another Wall of Blossom. Just setting up this Yorian eventually. Ooh. Just going to sack Flagstones to my Reclaimer. And, it's gonna be, it's <laughs> and really you were going to do some stuff, huh? And well, things. too bad. Stuff and things. God, and things? You're lucky. Okay, I'll pass to you. Decent draw there that I'll be able to play next turn. Okay, let's play Radiant Fountain. I'll gain two. 22. Life Tunnel is going to be super relevant in this match. Play Dryad. Um, okay. Play Forest as my second land. Okay. And pass the turn. All right. End step, I'm going to crack this. Go to 19. Um, so we're going to also just kind of look through to see what we want to do with this. Okay. Hmm. 
Let's see. Let's just get a duel here. I want to get some white mana. We're probably going to go for this. Uh, Sacred Foundry seems to be fine. Yeah, that's what I expected here. <laughs> when they when they have two basic forests. <laughs> Usually a pretty easy one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, of course, he's got white mana. He's got enough green mana. He's got two red in case they needs to hard cast Kiki Jiki, which the world's my doesn't. oyster, really. Yeah. All right. So let's untap a draw. Let's see. Hmm. Um. All right, now the fun part comes in. What all can I do? I think we want to just start with evolution the wall. Okay. All right, so we can yep. get a four drop here. Yep. I'm guessing just restoration angel. Um, kind of start half of the combo. And you can only get fours, right? You can't get threes. Yep. All yeah. right. So, yeah, let's go with Resto. Target Wall of Blossoms. Yeah. Get some value. All right. Draw a card. Interesting. And <clears throat> I think we'll play a Wooded Foothills and pass to you. Might stop you on your upkeep here. So I do want to try to keep you off Titan. It's not the best of plays. And maybe I should just save this for Titan, but this seems decent. So we're just going to path this at your upkeep. Just sure. to make it so you cannot just play two forest, Titan me, do some shenanigans. I guess you can just still castle, but... I can indeed castle but we'll where's your nail colors you know you're a three color duck i mean i had five colors until <laughs> just a moment ago yeah jerk jerk three cards hand over there three cards they're all good they're all good yep every single one <laughs> all right okay draft a turn okay also Corey, it is x or less on eldritch evolution oh it is x or less okay cool cool I think that's what I wanted to get anyways, but nice to know that I do have the option. Okay. I will play a flag sense of Trocare. Okay. Keep the old one and search for a temple garden. All right. All right. I will pass the turn. Exciting stuff. All right. I'm going to crack this. Go to 18. Mm. Also, Chad is really tilted about the way you say Naya. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That, that, I live to, you know, to uh, to troll Twitch chat, so. I, I figured. Good to hear. It's uh, a weird thing, given that you were born decades before Twitch became a thing. Yeah, I know, but it, I, I knew it was going to be a thing. I just knew it. All right. What colors do I actually Did you know it, here? or is that just the lie that you told your mother to let you play Magic all the time? I did have to do a lot of that. I did have to do a lot of that. Why do you need to play another daily event, Corey? <laughs> Just because. Evolution honestly. also exiles itself. Oh, it does. Never mind okay. about chat. Thanks, chat. I promise, Mom, right. it's going to be a real thing. I'm going to make lots of money. <laughs> Just let me play. God. Gosh. All right. Well. Hmm. Let's go with four, five, six, seven. Take two for eight. I'm going to quarter calling for five. So you're at 16. Your cord resolves. Okay. Okay. You don't seem that scared. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, I think we just go for it here. Do we play two Kikis or just one? Just one, that's risky. All you need is one. But what if it gets destroyed? Then you have an eternal witness. What if it gets exiled? Then you have preachers. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I believe, uh, as Cedric Phillips is saying on Twitter, you should have played around it. Should have played around it. Okay. Okay. That's fair. I'm wondering if I do want to go for something else to uh, to play around it. What, are you going to get, like, a Thrag Tusk? I mean, I could get, like, a Witness. Doesn't seem great. Does not seem great. I will I will say. Somebody call Jeff Hoogle and ask him for advice on this. Yeah. Um, hmm. All right, I'll go for it. You have a Kiki Jiki. All right, I'll target Restoration Angel. Resolve. You have a Restoration Angel. Okay. I'll target Kiki Jiki. I'll path Kiki Jiki. Not cool. <laughs> Feel like we should have two of this card. Get a basic. Can you attack me for three? Yep. I'm at 19. All right, you go. That didn't work out well. <laughs> the problem is I kind of, you know, you have to go for the combo before combat. That's the frustrating part. I can't just say go. I guess I can set it up, but I wouldn't be able to actually kill you. Um. So now that I don't need to hold up path, I think we can just, well... Rob, do I have two Field of the Dead's in the stack or one? Uh, I believe it's two, but let me check. If it's two, then I'll want to play a land first because that'll be my sixth different land. Yep. I would assume two, but... Yeah, you have two. Okay. Play Cavern of Souls, name Giant. Okay. Cast Primeval Titan. Okay. Trigger, find two copies of Field of the Dead. Okay. And... I'm in trouble. I get four zombies. All right. I'm done. Pass the turn. So I just got to win in the air. This is going to be a problem. Um, all right. Let's go with Utopia Sprawl here. We'll say white. And so this is green, red, green. Let's Eldritch Evolution this. Okay, wall get down. So another four drop we're getting. I could. I think I actually want to just get Megas of the Moon here just to shut down your lands. Can't really do anything about Field of the Dead, so I have to contain it. Um, so yeah, let's do Megas. That's annoying. Good, good. Oops. Still got a 6-6 six, six Titan that will trigger at least. I mean, it's not a, not great for you, but... All right, then we'll tap red, red, float a white. Pyromancer. Yep. Draw two. Play a mountain. And I think... Yeah, I better hold this back. I'll pass to you. Got a lot of pretty mountains over there, Ross. Yep. <laughs> Still got a plans, though. In case you do get a path. Uh, attack with Titan trigger. Okay. I'm going to take six. Yeah, maybe I should have waited on the Kiki if I only have one. Just kind of save that uh, for later and just get some value with Witness or something like that. But, oh well. So you take six, you're 13. Yep. Play a Titan. Okay. No, you're at 10. I think you took it off the wrong side. Yeah, I had you at 16. And then yeah, going you were at 16 there. for okay. two fetches and a shot. I trust you to uh, okay. keeping life totals more than I, so. And, and I was at 19. So. Okay. <clears throat> Um, so just want to set up with, maybe I just want to set up with fetch lands. That seems like the best thing. I don't need to get more basic forests. Okay. Uh, and yeah. So it's going to be, get the other Valakit set up, get the windswept teeth. Okay. And then play forest, play dryad. 
Okay. okay. No cards in hand. All right, I've but got, you got the beat. I've got two Colossal Dreadmaws, and that's the best card <laughs> ever printed. <laughs> Colossal Dreadmaw beats. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh, that's not bad. Um, so I'll play Mountain. Two, four, five. So I can just get Yorian, play Yorian uh, to stem the bleeding a little bit. I think that's my best play, so... Um, we'll try to, we'll leave the one that has white open just in case I draw a path. Uh, oh, wait, I can't even cast Yorian. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Only one white mana? Yeah, yeah, that's a problem. Never mind. Um, all right, well, I'm probably dead. So I will start with a Restoration Angel blinking this. Draw two. Primary, yep. Rest of probably one of your best draws. Probably. Um, okay, so white with a one floating. Um, put this to my hand. Can't cast it though, so pass to you. Your colossal dreadmaws, I think, are going to go the distance. We're going the distance. <laughs> We're going for speed. So now what happens if I attack with everything? <laughs> I probably die. You definitely, you know, like, ideally, Corey would want to double block one of the Colossal yeah. Dreadmaws <laughs> with the yeah. two Restoration Angels. And if you do that, then I think you die, right? I do die, yep. Uh, this, yeah, there, there's about twos. So, yeah, you would 100% be dead. So then you would have to, I would have 22 damage. Uh, coming across these, each prevent cannot two. block with this, yeah, or I yeah, die. So also true. Um, so twenty-two damage. These each prevent four. This prevents two. That's ten. You're at ten, and that deals twelve. So all right, GG. Back with all my creatures. GG. Yeah, also, I think. Corey, I think what's uh, up? You can't enchant the stomping ground with the uh, Utopia's Pro. Oh, fair, Basic fair. Course. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I was very dead anyways. Yeah, I think my big mistake there is going for the Kiki right away instead of just going for value stuff and then make you answer that. Um, yeah, and then hope to just find another, you know. Exactly. Like go for a witness, uh, keep bringing back Cord, get more witness, uh, and then like Magus, force yeah. you to M pass Maybe that. go for the Magus immediately. Yeah, but then the problem is you probably kill me because um, I don't have another Cord. Yeah, That's I think it would have a just, tough deck to play. It would have just come down to whether or not you could have top picked one in a pretty short time frame. Yeah, but exactly. that's better than having zero chance of winning. That's true. That's true. All right, tricky deck to play. We are going to go to the sideboard see if I got any blood moons in there uh, for this Titan deck. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with sideboarding here on Versus Live. All right, everybody, welcome back to sideboarding here at Versus Live between Naya Kiki Cord and Naya Titan. We'll uh, we'll say that. But um, all right, so what we're bringing in here, Blood Moon is a slide slam dunk card against any Field of the Dead Titan shenanigans. Eternal Witness is okay, um, and then Knight of Autumn can kill Dryad. Not a great card, but uh, we didn't have a ton for this, and all of these I really wanted to take out. Scavenging Ooze doesn't hit anything too profitable. We're not really attacking on that metric too much. It's not very good. Looming Shaman, uh, Eidolon of Rhetoric are not very good in these matchups. Not really for this. And then the one Isolate in the main only hits your 1-1 one, one drop, uh, so I think I'd just rather have Lightning Bolt because it also hits that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's going Pretty clear right now that uh, that's removal suites in modern are being warped by the heavy presence of the Rakdos mm. Death Shadow deck. Yep. So yep. that's why you see Isolate in this deck. It's why you see in the sideboard of my deck four copies of Celestial Purge. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you know, I'm going to bring Shows in... what's good in the meta in the metagame right now. Yeah. You know, yep. and when you're playing decks like these that are a little bit more off the radar, it's really yeah. important that they be well-tuned. Yes. Absolutely. So. And be directly, you know, guided for the matchups you want to see, you know. Yep. yep. So Agreed. I'm going to be bringing in three <laughs> copies of Purge I think dealing with Blood Moon and Magus of the Moon is the most important thing, but this card is pretty narrow. Instead of the fourth, I'm bringing in the one generous gift, a little white beast within. Just cutting the one of us in my deck that aren't uh, relevant for this matchup. You can always trim a couple lands in these decks. It plays 31 in the mains. So coming down to 29 is fine. Okay. But Jukabog and Ghost Quarter have very little utility. Uh, and then Ramen Up Excavator and Archon of Emiria, same among the Elod Elodomri's call package. So cool. Just cool. cut the irrelevant ones. 
bring in the interaction that you need. Yeah, Purge seems great against, I mean, can stop the combo and the Blood Moon effect, which most decks lean on against you. Plus, they're good against the Death Shadow decks. Like, Purge, I have always thought is just such a good card. I was up to like three when I was playing Bank Control. Uh, I'm just a, a big fan of that card right now. It's been a, a good card in modern sideboards really since the beginning when, yep. you know, Liliana of the Veil was around yep, a lot. Yep. But now with the best deck being, well, Rakdos, when you can just kill anything with it, it just makes sense to have that because Path is the best white removal, but it is a liability to give your opponent a land early in the game when, you know, they're, you're, they're attacking you with prowess creatures and stuff like that. Yeah, and they're very low curve, so that extra land is probably going to let them cast multiple spells. Exactly. It's the lesser of two evils. All right, so I will be on the play, and we're going to have a... A much better game from this side, I have a feeling. Oh, God. Um, Hope too soon. Uh, yeah, no kidding. I think I do want to keep this. It's a little iffy. Um, but can be quite strong. So, yeah, we'll give it a shot. That's a good classic Corey keep, wouldn't you agree? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will keep mine as well. All right, I'm going to crack this, get a forest, Utopia Sprawl, and name White. I will play a forest and pass the turn. Okay. My turn was way cooler than yours, just saying. All right. So I'm at 19. Oh, and tab draw. Had it. All right. Let's go with Stone Forge a Mystic. Okay, do we want Batter Skull? I think we have three choices in here. So we got Batter Skull is one. That's the kind of the obvious one. Um, and then I know there was Fire and Ice. Let's see if that's the only one. Fire and Ice doesn't seem great here, and that is the only two. So we'll get Batter Skull and we'll pass to you. Okay. Flagstones of Trocare. Okay. Pass the turn. I uh, will put this into my hand. Draw. A little bit of a tilt, but not bad. Um, I will just pass to you. Oh, end step. Uh, good thing I remember to do this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the armory's called. Okay, sure, sure. I will find a dryad of the Elysian Grove. Okay, okay. So no land drop there for Corey. I'm holding it. Yeah. I'm holding it. I'm saving it. For later. I accidentally did that once in a match. Yeah. It was against your brother. Nice. He, he intimidated got, you, huh? He got really, really confused. <laughs> <laughs> because I pondered and kept on top and then passed without playing a land and then played a land the next two turns. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, God, you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> you're so lucky. All right. Dry it to the hand. Okay. Now I will play Forest. Play Dryad. Okay. And, and your go. <laughs> play a Flagstones. Keep the untapped one. Okay. Search for basic planes. Okay, okay. Snow covered planes, sure. Sure. That's the turn. End step, put Batter Skull on. Sure. I got a germ somewhere okay. around here. Okay. And anything else I want to do here? Yeah, let's crack this. I think I want to get, so I have green white, so I probably want red white. So you're at 18 now? Yep. But I'm going up. Moving With the help from up. Alice Mastecki. To the east side, to a deluxe apartment <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> All right. On to now. Guess we finally got a piece of the pie. Do you like pie? All right. Good let's go with Night of Autumn. Attempt to destroy this. Oh, you're a jerk. I know. And I'll attack for five. You only had one of those. I know. 15 to your 22. Yep, your go. I'm giving up on the combo thing this time. I'm just giving you the beatdown. Okay, well, I'm going to give you the uh -oh. Titans because uh -oh. I have a castle. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm dead. 
Uh, so I have five uh, distinct lands, so I need to get field and something else. Blast Zone seems like a reasonable one. Well, let's get that one. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, actually, yeah, that seems fine. Okay, okay. Eh, I'm not Blast Zoning you next turn. Maybe I just want to get more basics. Let's just get the other planes. Okay. So Get a Snow Planes. You get two zombies. <laughs> yep. Pass the turn. Nice batter skull. Gross. <sighs> gross, gross, gross. Primeval Titan is not okay. Yeah, that's that card's good. They shouldn't let us do this. I agree. I'm just getting destroyed over here. They should always let us do that, Ross. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why I'm sad about Commander, because you can't play him there. I'm sad about Commander for many other reasons, Rob. All right. Um, I'm in trouble. I'm in <laughs> trouble. This is not going well. <laughs> not going well indeed. Let's see here. I guess we ought to have somewhat of a setup turn, which is not great in the face of that. Um... Okay, let's start by attacking with Batter Skull. What of it? You ever been bluffed? What is going on? <laughs> you don't play like murderous red cap. <laughs> Maybe. You don't know my list. I may have teched it out. I don't think you're winning via regular damage. You're going to gain the life anyway. I'll, I'll take it. Okay. Got him into 26. Got him. All right. Now, what do we want to do? I think we want to start with this, unfortunately. A wall of Blossoms. All-powerful wall. Um, then I will say go. And your upkeep, I have a path. That's annoying. Take that. So I do have another basic forest. Okay. That will get me another zombie. Okay. <clears throat> Quarter calling, I have to core. I have to pay three generic green mana all the time, right? Uh, if you tap a green creature, it can tap for green. It does. Okay. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure about that. It, improvise does not let you do that. If you yeah. tap a blue artifact for improvise, it doesn't yeah. pay blue for wur. Mm -hmm. It only pays colorless. But convoke, you can pay the color of the card if you tap a creature of that color. I haven't convoked in so long. So, all right. Thanks. I don't have that card in hand, though. Okay. Draw for turn. Yep. You got your zombie, right? Yep. Okay. Hmm. So, I had a plan to be able to play both things that I wanted to. Don't do that. Um, but it's, I drew one of the lands I wanted to search for, which is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can just get that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, make six green, play Titan. Rude. I will get uh, Vesuva copying field and Selesnia sanctuary. That will get me four zombies. Okay. So we have five that can attack. I'm okay. going to bounce one of the basic forests. Okay. I will play that as my life return, get two more zombies. Okay. And then I will play Knight of Autumn and blow up your batter skull. Rude. And then I will attack with these two zombies. All right. I'll just block one. Take two to 24. Yep. And pass the turn. All right. Well, that plan is out the window. Um, okay. So, unfortunately, me bringing up Commander just has chat winning a Ross rant about Commander. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Um, let's see. What can we do here? You have how many cards? Three. Okay. Um, I 
I'm in trouble. Are you? Yes. Yes, yes, I am. I agree. <laughs> um, God. I really needed to land there to have any shot at this. Or for you to not destroy our batter skull. That was pretty rude. Or rude. Would you describe it more as rude or rudy tooty fresh and fruity? Excuse me, what? <laughs> <laughs> Were those words? Were those words? Is that English? Mm. Um, we're all right. Not great here, but we are going to pass to you. Three mana up, so no potential for Restoration Angel. That is the important part. Mm -hmm. I'm still, uh, I guess you have three. Yeah, you can cord for three. That's still not Resto. That was a good draw. I will cast all the call. Mm. Um. Sure. I'll find a dryad of the Elysian Grove. Okay. I will cast a dryad of the Elysian Grove. In response, <clears throat> I'll path the Titan. I don't think I have another basic in my deck. Cool, cool. But I'll check. I'm correct. Okay. Okay. Try it good? Yep. I will play Valica the Molten Pinnacle. You would. <laughs> That's my first land for turn. All right, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. I needed a land. I was pretty close to the combo, but I, I, I had field two, so I get to kill two blockers. Yeah, just and killing any of my creatures. Apparition the other one, and yeah, killing any of my creatures just a lot means I will never be uh, yeah. able to cord for enough. I was gonna kill every single creature you had and make five more zombies. Is that good? And a, and another apparition. So Is that six good? More six more two twos. Kill yeah, all your this, creatures. this has been a beating. This has been a beating. I don't know if we've ever won with uh, these kind of cord style of decks, though. I, I must say, it's really cool when uh, it works, but we haven't had a lot of ton of luck with it. Yeah, you've got to, I think, lean into either, you know, getting down a quick moon or going for a quick combo. Yeah. The, the mid-range value plan is not going to work well against Primeval Titan. Oh, That's definitely not. True. Definitely not. So the, yeah, the castle was the brutal part. Just the turn extra. Yeah. If, I had, if I had one extra turn where I could have had, a, like, a setup uh, cord and then comboed, you know, I think I that would have been a lot better. But, yeah, yeah. that was brutal. So the, those are the things that you got to mulligan, I think, pretty aggressively for. Yep. We should probably next time play this core decks against like a you know a normal interactive mid range deck. That's yeah. usually what they want to play against. That's true. That's true. But I'm not afraid. I'm going to win this pity game. I feel like I'm that's determined. true. Every deck in modern though, like is yeah. there a single deck in modern that is afraid of playing against Jund? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't like, think so. In, in fact, maybe. Even then, I've always thought that matchup was overstated for Jund. Maybe like uh, the Dryad, uh, you know, the infinite mana combo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they just have too much removal for that, so they probably don't want to play against that. But All right, Rob, will we shuffle up for our third and final game of round one? Do you happen to have a question for us? Yeah, we had one from earlier. Uber wanted to know, um, what do you think about the uh, Pathways and Pioneer? Like, are they, should you be playing a lot of them? And, and what decks are you looking to play them in that they really help Ooh, out? I'm going to leave that to you because I've been struggling with uh, just the wide variety of like four color decks I've been playing. I've been really unsure about the Pathways for that. I know they're like great in the deck that you've been uh, yeah, but piloting. Pathways but what do you think? have been very important for Pioneer, in particular for unlocking the mana bases of certain aggressive decks. Like for sure, yeah, yeah. In friendly color combinations. So gruel and black white, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, gruel and green white. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Orzov did get an extra pathway, but they already had pretty good mana. Yeah, with the pain land, uh, shock land, fast yep. land. Um, so they're at, they're at their best in aggressive decks, in particular aggressive decks that are sort of one color with more of a splash. Okay, as opposed to you know straight two color decks. You don't really want to have uh, you know double color cards of both colors 
it with a pathway because it's never going to tap for both colors. It's always going to be, you know, essentially a basic of either kind. Okay. But the fact that it gives you early access to either color, especially on turn one, is very helpful if you have to split your one drops, mm. you know, not play all one drops of one color. Uh, so that's where it's particularly helpful. It should still see play in other decks, and it does. Mm -hmm. I, I think they do, uh, just not as much. Yeah. Because, you know, slower decks, it's a lot easier for them to play things like Triomes or, you know, just Shockland, Checkland kind of mana bases. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, that, you know, just depending on the different color combinations that you have, they, they could definitely be useful because they're very good. Yeah, I, I had the decision where I wanted a lot of green-white lands in my Omnath deck, so I, I, I just went the split of, like, three Temple Gardens, three Pathways, uh, just to kind of see which one was better. And it, it's really hard to, to tell, you know, because yeah. they're very similar. Um, uh, it's still leaning on just Temple Garden being better. But, you know, sometimes the damage adds up. Yeah, that, yeah. Is, that is notable. If you're, a, you know, a... Multicolor decks, especially like the Niv Mizzet decks, they mm. tend to play a, a good number of shock lands, and I think yeah. they could get away with some pathways, and that will give them some percentage points against aggressive decks. Yeah, yeah, just not dealing themselves as much damage. So, you know, they're not going to be as important in those decks because they're not going to be as necessary for hitting your colors, but they still could be a good option because they're pain free. I totally agree. All right, Ross, I'm winning this pity game. Are you now? I'm gonna. I'm gonna sneep this. Um. Yeah, I will keep as well. All right, same play. Forest will put, will name white again. Okay. I am going to. Oof. I am going to start on. Elvish Reclaimer. Okay. Pass the okay. Turn. Want to do that some will, reclaiming? Let me find the necessary basics I need should Corey Blood Moon me on turn two. True that. Um, instead, let's crack this for some color of white land, and we're going to get that Rejuvenator out of here. You're at 18. Have I'm gonna, one of... Yeah, I'm going to actually go to 16. I want to get a duel. Having the one of apparition like a jerk. Like a jerk. All right, we're going to get Sacred Foundry, and then it'll be your go. And we'll play our Boreal Grazer. Oh, man. Put a flagstone onto the battlefield. Okay. They see me grazing. They hate in. Play a flagstone. Okay. Select the tapped one. Get a basic planes and pass the turn. All right. Pretty insulated against Blood Moon effects. Um, so, what do we want to do here? Twice I've had Elvish Reclaimer with Flagstones ready for turn two, and you've had the answer both times. I know. Like a jerk. Skills. Skills. All right, so let's go with Wall of Blossom. Uh, we're going to crack this down to 15. What kind of land am I going to want? Uh, let's see here. I'm going to shortcut as well because I am going to play this, but... Star Wars Mystic. Mystic, it worked so well for me last time. Um, guess we need some red mana. So red, stomping ground. yeah, probably just stomping ground because we want to be able to cord. Yeah. Um, yeah. So going to thirteen, yep. stomping ground, and what are we getting the stone? For? And we're gonna get battle skull again. It worked so well for me, and I'll attack. Okay, here we go. Got me. Uh, I'll play a windswept teeth and pass the turn. Okay. A draw. Okay, what do we want to do here? I think I want to draw some cards here. Because my hand is not particularly strong. Um, so, let's float a white. And Season Pyromancer? Yep. <clears throat> I'm going to ditch Magus of the Moon and Knight of Autumn. Magus, you already are pretty set up, so I think it's not really worth it. So we got two Ross Merriams. 
Uh, I have a land. I'll crack this down to 14. Down to 12, you shocked last time. Oh yeah, down to 12. And this one I think we can safely just get a basic. And Vile with the Stoneforge Mystic. What? Are we activating Stoneforge? Yeah, and activating this, yep. Activating this for a, a better skull. We're doing some things, but they still don't matter that much. And all right, here go. <laughs> Not a very good draw there. I will play a Valakut and pass the turn. All right. All right. Now, let's... Combat? Yep. I'm bringing in all the clowns. Beat downs. Three in hand. Three in hand. Block Skyclave Apparition. Okay. I will pass priority. Got nine still coming at your face. I go to 11, you go to 16. Okay. Um, second main. Blood Moon? Sure. And Stoneforge Mystic. Go get the sword and pass to you. Okay. End of turn, purge the Blood Moon. Okay. And crack the heath, I'll go to 10. Okay. Had to figure that was uh, happening, otherwise what is in your hand if it's not uh, some disruption here? Oh, I literally drew purge last turn. Oh, all right, well, I knew it. I'll uh, get another basic plane, so if you have another moon, I can apparition or cast uh, Eladomri's Call for night. Okay. But some of the decent mid-range battlefield here were very far away from comboing, but yeah. giving I, you the beatdowns. I left the Heath uncracked last turn in case I drew Dryad on my turn. Okay. That would have let so me you can Valakut something? Yes. I would have turned it into a lightning bolt, but like now it, like it. I'm going to need all six mana on my turn. Uh-oh. For what? <laughs> Nobody knows. Ugh. All right. At least that's a forest and not a snow forest. That's yeah. helpful. Drew two, uh, actually... I guess I'd, yeah, I guess I can just cavern, cavern giant because you don't have the moon yet. Yep. yep. So let's do it that way because that's way better. Now that I get to better. just get two fields. Gross. And make four zombies. Gross. And pass the turn. All right. Well, once again, I'm just never able to beat this plan, which you have often. Because <laughs> my entire deck is built to do it. <laughs> Yeah, I hate it too. I agree. Um, okay. We'll put in sword. I'll equip sword to the germ. And can't really attack with anything but this, so I'll attack. Um, I will... Quad block with the four zombies. All right, we'll kill three of them. You gain six, brings yep. you to 22. Yep. And I have a land and pass to you. Once again, that was a good draw. Lucky. I will cast Eladomri's Call. Ugh. Yep. I will find Dryad of the Elysian Grove. <laughs> Yep. Uh, you can't cast it. So I've got to play the forest first. <laughs> yeah. Well, play forest. I get two zombies, I guess. Yep. Uh, play the dryad. I have another land to drop to make. I don't have another land in hand. But uh, here's what I can do. I can... Oh, I also get a... Yeah, I'll attack for six. Well, for oh. being in combat. Oh, you have a path? Oh, yeah. What a jerk. <laughs> I was going to do a really neat trick. Yeah. I was going to get 
Castle Garenbrig and Bounce Land to bounce the castle, replay it, and then play the Titan that's in my hand. Oh, lovely. Uh, but lovely. instead, I will get the um, get the Snow Forest. I get two more zombies, and I now get to Valk at something. Yep. And I guess I will hit the Skyclave Apparition and get a 1-1 one, one Illusion. Sure. Um... Yeah, you can core. You don't need the wall to core. Yeah, I couldn't kill the wall anyway. Mm -hmm. So, get the 1-1 one, one illusion and pass the turn. All right. Things are not going great. Not going great at all. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's just... I mean, I have to just draw combo stuff here, but just so far away from it. Um, hmm. Yeah, I just can't beat the Titan that you have in hand. I can do some stuff to, you know, mitigate the amount of damage I'm taking, like equip the sword to, you know, my Wall of Blossoms, get Yorian, set up next turn to get some value, but I just can't beat Titan, so yeah, I'm dead. Well, I'm dealing you 24 damage next turn. Oh, yeah. That's why I said yeah. I cannot beat it. <laughs> I can get Celestia Sanctuary Valakit, yeah. and that's four Valakit triggers. Return the Sanctuary with itself, and then play yeah. it twice, get two more. So I get eight total triggers. Yeah, no big deal. No big deal. So I, I am 24-ing you on the very next turn. All right. Well, one day I will win with a Kiki Cord deck. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't promise that because I it does not look great. It does not look great. It 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 doesn't hit the same uh, these days. There's just decks that just go so far over the top, um, and there's combos that are easier. I feel yeah than yeah. Uh, these, and it's a really fragile combo. You know, like even Copycat is fragile as well, but you know, much much more resilient in my opinion. But. Yeah, the, the, and that's supposed to be the strength of this deck, right? Mm -hmm. that it, it does have a lot of resilience. It has that other game plan. Yeah. But that secondary game plan is horrible against Prime, the power of Primeval Field Titan. of the Dead. Field of the Dead. Field of the Dead. Yeah, and, and that's a lot of the decks right now. Field of the Dead is just thrown in, you know, Reclamations, thrown into just so many different shells, uh, just because it's so easy to make work with fetch lands and stuff. So. Yeah, and you're, you know, game one, you went for the combo quickly, and that's going to win a lot mm -hmm. of games in, in this matchup or against Amulet Titan, but I had yeah. the path, and that, that swung that one game. The other games, you really just didn't have a combo draw at all. Yeah, that you exactly. had these mid range draws, and that was a, a big problem. That's I had a combo draw. Need. I had a combo draw the second game, but it was just a little too slow. Yeah. You know, you were comboing off uh, with your one card combo a little bit faster than I was. So yeah, I think I had. Yeah. Uh, I think I had turned four Titan that game. The other games I had turned five Titan, so not yeah. particularly fast. But I had it with some disruption or yeah. with things like you know with a turn one reclaimer, which would have made my my Titan faster. So you had to take a turn off to deal with the reclaimer. Yep. Uh, yep. So those kinds of things mitigated the fact that I'm not quite as fast as Amulet Titan mm -hmm. to, you know, to getting to the Titan. Yeah, I, I kind of like this deck. I, no, I it's pretty sweet. Being able to have that robust Titan plan with Valakit and Field of the Dead alongside this toolbox of, of, you know, not only good lands, but good creatures. Yeah. And having a little bit of disruption is really nice as opposed to the Amulet deck, which sure can kill you on turn two. Yeah. But <laughs> sometimes has draws, as we saw, you know, two months ago. Just super awkward. Just yeah. don't do anything. No, same. The, the amount of times I've played against this uh, green-white Titan Titan list. I, I'm a lot more afraid of it than the other Titans, but that is just a product of I've played against Amulet Titan so much, and you know I always have three or four gusts in uh, whatever deck I'm playing in Modern that I'm not too afraid of it. But this does just attack from a different angle, and it, it, you just have to get used to a new deck. Uh, and I think exactly like what you said, it, it's just very resilient. Yeah. And I, th I think that's a cool... Uh, uh, and there's just so many lines that you can have with that kind of deck. So. And I yeah. think where it's going to suffer is in Mirrors. I think Amulet yeah. Amulet's can be favored in the mirror and other big mana decks and combo decks. Yeah. I think th this version, if, if you're a Primeval Titan aficionado, these fair Titan decks are a lot better in fair matchups Yep. because they're just more stable and they have more angles of attack and they're more resilient, but those things don't matter in the matchups that are about speed. Yeah, like Prowess decks where, you know, they're fast, you want to be fast as well, but if you can just disrupt their creatures, you have way more time than, you know, if they just go Prowess creature, double Prowess creature, turn three, you're dead. You know, now if you can go path purge then dry it you know that yeah. that's a better plan to beat them anyways yeah i think that matchup is fine yeah. but if, if you're talking something like storm or oops all spells or, or tron or tron or the, yeah. and the other big mana decks yeah that's that's where you suffer agreed, agreed. but right now the metagame is pretty fair there's a lot of uro decks there's yeah. the prowess decks that you can get a uh, game plan for so uh, honestly if i were looking to play primeval titan right now this is probably the list i would gravitate towards i think so i think me as well i've never been a, a 
huge Titan player. I've played it a couple of times, you know, uh, before, but I'm interested in that deck as well. It looks pretty sweet, so. Okay. All right, everyone, that is going to do it for round number one. That was an absolute beating. All right, there's no way to sugarcoat that. That was uh, that was brutal. So. Give me old right hook. I'll be uh, I'll be taking those marbles back in the next two matches. So we got some nice uh, decks still coming up. We're going to take a short five-minute break. Don't go anywhere, and we'll be right back with round number two here on Versus Live. Mm -hmm. 